it's easy not to murder somebody. It's easy not to steal someone else's stuff. It's easy not to break the law, but you know what's hard? It's hard to love someone who does. Here we are, 23rd Sunday in Ordinary Time, reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. And St. Paul is reinforcing that higher command, the greatest commandment. Listen to this, a reading from St. Paul's letter to the Romans. Owe no one anything except to love one another. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandment are summed up in this word. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Do you see the difference? You see, we get hung up on the Ten Commandments. We're like, oh, I keep all the commandments. Well, I hope so, right? The commandments, the Ten Commandments were like the low bar that God set for the Israelite people so they didn't just like self-destruct as a people, as a tribe, as a culture. That was like the bare minimum. Okay, and, and to be honest, like think about that, like it's a pretty low bar just to not kill anybody. Right? Like that's just a human expectation. It's a low bar not to take stuff that's not yours. Pretty low bar. Okay. But Paul reinforces what Jesus said when, when he was asked by the scribes and the Pharisees, what is the greatest of all the laws? What's the greatest commandment? And Jesus said, love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as you love yourself. Paul's reinforcing that love is the highest law. It's easy, out of love, for our fellow human beings not to, you know, do things that would hurt them, right? Gossip about them, okay, trash talk them online, you know, steal stuff out of their backpacks, break into their cars, okay? All of those things are easy when we have a love for a fellow human being. But Paul's calling us to this higher standard where can we love somebody who has done those things to us or to people that we love? When we are hurt by another human being, out of their lack of love, their lack of fulfilling the greatest law, the law of loving each other, can we still love them? That's the challenge that Paul lays down for us as he reinforces the underpinning, the absolute reason Jesus came to demonstrate love for us and ultimate love by dying on the cross. So, outside in this week, who needs your love that you don't want to love? How can you this week go to that person and show them a love that comes from somewhere that's not you? You know what I'm saying? Because there's people in my life, I'm like, you know what? I'm, I mean, God bless you. I like, go do your thing. But I'm not real interested in loving you. Who is someone that we can love that just would not be easy for us to love unless it came from somewhere other than ourselves. Can you find that person this week and show them some love? I love you guys. We'll see you in the next one.